fascinating aspect of anything in the creative industry is that there is no way of predicting the future. As the industry is not backed by job security, you can easily transition from being the most beloved individual of the country to easily becoming a nobody. The sad reality, especially of the Hindi film industry, is that everything is in the public eye. This leads to failures being magnified to the power infinity compared to any other profession. When you know a person's killing it, the entire country knows. You know when a person's going through a slump because that's the only thing people want to talk about on social media. This video is aimed at focusing on some films that change the trajectory of the careers of some the most popular celebrities from the Hindi film industry. Without further ado, here is Tried and Refuse Productions with 10 Bollywood movies that revived declining acting careers. Shahid Kapoor I have been a fan of Shahid Kapoor since he debuted with the Ken Ghosh directed film Ishkwishk. The man had this charming quality in front of the camera. What has been frustrating in the journey of supporting his work is undoubtedly his script choices. The debut was followed by multiple flops. Everyone thought that the success of the Suraj Barjatia directed film Viva in 2006 would change the fate of the actor but nothing changed. The 2009 Kamine directed by Vishal Bhardwaj despite only doing average business showcased Shahid Kapoor playing a shade of a character never seen before. But this was also followed by consecutive failures. People started to doubt whether Shahid will ever be considered in the A-list category of superstars. But the 2014 movie Heather, an adaptation of Hamlet, cemented his position as a dependable leading hero. Shahid won the first Best Actor Filmfare Award, and nobody could match his haunting and gripping performance as Heather in conflict-ridden Kashmir. I have a great relationship with him. He's given me two of the most significant roles of my career. Um, so, yeah, I feel awesome when he says it. Since then, despite minor blips, the actor has featured in some of his career's most successful films and it seems like it's only onwards and upwards from here. Amitabh Bachchan An extremely small percentage of people know the dire financial state in which Amitabh Bachchan was in the late 90s. With the collapse of ABCL, one of the first companies that was introducing corporatization in the Hindi film industry, Amitabh Bachchan, due to many catastrophic investment decisions, was in a terrible situation. This was the time where, to make matters worse, Amitabh Bachchan was in a terrible position regarding his film career as well, featuring in disaster after disaster. A story explained by the legend showcased us the benevolence of Yash Chopra and the absence of ego in Bachchan's life regarding how he got the film Mohabbate. I walked across to my dear friend, Mr. Yash Chopra, who lives just behind my house, and I said, I'm out of job. Early in the morning? Yeah and uh, I'm out of job, uh, give me a job. And he, within a minute, said, I have a film called Mohabbate, and we have a role for you, and uh, would you work in it? I said, fine. And that's how things started. A combination of his stoic portrayal of Narayan Shankar in the film and his long and successful stint as the host of Konbadega Karodpati led to a resurgence of sorts for the actor, both financially as well as creatively. It's safe to say that there was no looking back after that. Kareena Kapoor Kareena Kapoor, according to me, is iconic in every way. She gets a lot of slack for being who she is, but it is undeniable that she is one of the finest actors of the country. She is also an actress who has said no to some of the biggest hits of the Hindi film industry and has gone on to do some of the most embarrassing films, where over a period of time, especially in the early 2000s, Kareena was appreciated for her roles in films like Chameli, Dev and Omkara. She was always bestowed with the Best Actress Award in the Critics category. But the turning point was when the entire nation was blown away by her iconic performance as Geet and Jabbi Met, a film which showed not only her acting rage but also led to Karina sweeping the entire award season. The hilarious aspect is that the actor thought the fate of the film would not be something special as she was simultaneously shooting for Tushan. I actually thought that that's going to change my life. And in this my is career. the one that changed but the career. But this actually changed my career and that changed my life. She soared to new heights after the film and became a part of some of the biggest hits of the country and still is one of the most sought after actors of the country. Saif Ali Khan A man who was out of his depth and completely lost in the 90s in Bollywood was Saif Ali Khan. You could clearly tell in several movies that a man educated in the UK with the sensibilities of a Nawab just didn't feel comfortable singing Kaha Hai Meri Chui. Even though the actor featured in some successful films, he never stood out as a capable actor. It all changed when Saif featured in the revolutionary film Dil Chata Hai directed by Farhan Akhtar as Samir. What's crazy is that the actor had to be convinced by Amir Khan to sign the film as he was initially hesitant. I'm playing hero and he said, which film are you playing hero in? I said, this one and that one. He's like, okay, this film is about three times the size of all of those put together. Okay, you know, right. can you get on the page because this is good cinema. 
You have to do it, he said. <laughs> Saif as Samir was instantly likable, and Saif went on to become a bankable leading hero in several films. Vishal Bardwaj also played a key role in showcasing to the world the sheer range Khan possesses when he played the role of Langra Tyagi in Omkara. Kangana Ranaut. It is beyond impossible to fathom for outsiders that one day they will become superstars in the Hindi film industry. Rajkumar Rao and Ayushman Khurana are a needle in a haystack in somewhat of a recurring family business that is the Hindi film industry. Another success story like that is Kangana Ranaut. But as most debuts of outsiders go, Kangana Ranaut's gangster was followed by back-to-back -back flops. Everyone believed that after her iconic performance as Shonali in Fashion, things would change for the better. But again, her career was marred by many flops, overshadowing the rare hits and impressionable performances it was after the surprise hit queen in 2014 that kangana ranaut had reached the quintessential definition of what stardom feels like queen ke baad kahenge ke ek alag stardom dekhne ko mila mujhe aur zyada jo in terms of financially jo ek alag muqam dekhne ko mila wo tanu manu 2 ke baad Her role as Rani left a deep impact on audiences and since then Ranaut has become a lone wolf of sorts banking hundreds of crores on movies solely running on her merit very interested to know how her upcoming releases would pan out in the box office Salman Khan Salman Khan has one of the longest and most importantly successful careers in the Hindi film industry but it has not been all sunshine and flowers for the actor where the 90s was mostly smooth sailing for the actor it was the early to mid 2000s that bhai had to deal with several financial failures where most of his successful stints after tere naam included multi stars or two actor led films in the form of mujhse shaadi karogi and partner most of all these leading roles did below average business compared to at least khan standards like garv lucky babul and got to see great ho It was when Salman Khan decided to remake the Telugu success Pokiri in the form of Wanted directed by Prabhu Deva that Salman came back to his form of tearing the box office apart. The film led to a frenzy of sorts that even his most nonsensical films would certainly hit hundreds of crores. It has been no stopping ever since. Aditya Roy Kapoor One of my favorite actors from the current generation that is still not regarded as a capable future star mainly due to his poor choices is Aditya Roy Kapoor. I have always felt that even if the movies from a story standpoint have been underwhelming, Kapoor has always put forth a praiseworthy performance. After the monumental success of Aashiqui 2, everyone felt that it is going to be smooth sailing from there for the actor. But after the consecutive flops in the form of Davate Ishq and Fitur, which i loved by the way i highly recommend you give it another try the industry sort of gave up thinking that kapoor was a dependable star especially when ok janu tanked followed by the disaster that was kalank by the way his track with sanakshi was one of the biggest highlights i genuinely felt is this it but with malang and its financial success and knowing his future projects i feel like kapoor is definitely in stride to be active in films and providing us compelling characters and stories i'm excited because it's a new genre it's uh, a genre which i feel like um, i've been wanting to do for a while and the audience seems to have accepted me in that genre it's an action space so it's a, it's a definitely a new chapter how do you think sadak 2 and equivalent 2 are going to pan out Deepika Padukone. Deepika Padukone has had many highs and lows in the Hindi film industry. Where in her initial stint she was only regarded for her beauty and elegance, little was talked about her acting chops. People thought that this perception might change after the 2009 Love Actually, but it was all downhill from there with multiple flops in the form of Lafange Parinde, Break Ke Baad and Khele Hum Jee Jaan Se. Even with some successful films like Houseful and Arakshan, Padukone was getting overshadowed due to the multi-star setup. It was only after the 2012 film cocktail that people started raving about her acting talent and she started to get respect as a leading lady Veronica stayed with audiences and Deepika since then has been in countless successful films and has put forth some very impressive performances as well I'm told that uh, this is the first time that a love story has got this kind of an opening um it's massive it's humongous uh, Friday we did about um 11 plus uh, today uh, Saturday we did about 12 plus and we're hoping that sunday is even bigger and better imran khan Imran Khan was an actor everyone was interested to notice. People were curious of how his acting career would pan out. Even though his limitations as a performer were clear, he definitely had an impactful first impression with audiences with Jaane Tu Ya Jaane Na. After that there were multiple flops or below average performing films that also exposed the frailties of the actor as a performer. This is when Amir Khan stepped in as producer for the brave and ambitious dark comedy Delhi Belly. Imran Khan again benefited from being a part of a compelling and revolutionary film in so many ways. I've always viewed Delhi Belly as a very uh, a very important film for Indian cinema 
And in the build-up to the release, I was already saying that if this film clicks, if, it, if the film works, I think that uh, it will inspire a lot of other filmmakers to push the boundaries, to, to change the idea of what we consider to be commercial cinema. After several failed opportunities, this seemed to be a new beginning, with the actor bagging several roles ahead in Bollywood movies. Sadly, the career didn't pan out as planned, and after successive flops, Imran stopped acting. The individual is trying to make it as a director after his stint in creating a short called Mission Mars. Sanjay Dutt Sanjay Dutt had possibly the most tumultuous personal as well as professional journey, mostly due to irresponsible decisions and a lot to do with the torrid circumstances. The late 90s was a horrible affair for Dutt in the box office. After the iconic 1993 film Kalnayak, it seemed to only get worse. With multiple flops in his name and a back and forth between jail and shooting, it seemed like Dutt was slowly fading into the abyss as a forgotten star. But who knew that a first-time director, Rajkumar Harani, with an offbeat premise of a goon wanting to become a doctor in the form of Munna Bhai MBBS, would become a national sensation and a turning point for Dutt's career. Since then, Sanjay Dutt had a franchise he was known for and a part of several commercial blockbusters that cemented his position in the industry. Look, from my career, from my daily life, from my image, everything has changed from my image. And that was a video, guys. Write down in the comments below what you thought about the list and whether you have some video ideas for our channel. Please don't forget to follow me on Instagram. The handle is right in front of you. Follow me at jammypants4. Also, please support us by smashing the like button and subscribing to our channel for weekly content ahead. Thank you for watching.